If you've seen your fair share of Hollywood movies, you've probably come across some ridiculous lies about space. There's so much that I need to teach you about this planet. Whether it's Academy Award winning masterpieces or just some trash content, media related to space always seems to get one thing or another wrong. In this video, we'll be going through 10 lies you were told about space. Number 10. Mercury is the hottest planet. This is one common misconception that surprisingly a lot of people have. Since Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, many people tend to assume that it would also be the hottest planet in our solar system, but that's actually not true. The sunny side of Mercury can reach an average temperature of up to 800 degrees. As hot as that may be, it pales in comparison to the average temperature on Venus, which is at around 900 degrees, and it can get much hotter than that on a particularly sunny part of the planet. Venus is hotter than Mercury due to its much thicker atmosphere that traps all of the heat within the planet. Venus's atmosphere is made mainly up of carbon dioxide. Number 9. The Sun's Appearance and Characteristics The Sun is the main attraction of the solar system. It is the one object that all of the planets revolve around, so clearly any space movie, art about space, or really any media about space, is bound to depict the Sun in one way or another. But there's one thing about the Sun that they always seem to misrepresent, and it's that they make the Sun appear in space as a bigger version of what it looks like from the Earth. In reality, the Sun isn't exactly yellow. It gets its yellow hue due to the Earth's atmosphere making it seem that way to us. This process is called Rayleigh scattering. When you're in space, the Sun should look much more white rather than yellow and it would be much harder to make out its shape from space, and it would mostly look like a massive lay of light rather than a round ball of fire we're used to seeing on Earth. Number 8. The Earth is Round Yep, you heard it here first. The Earth isn't round. All jokes aside, we're not saying that the Earth is flat, but simply that it's not a perfect circle as it's often portrayed in movies or TV shows. The Earth is actually an oblate spheroid and is quite wonkier than you'd expect it to be. There are a lot of imperfections about the Earth's shape, especially when you factor in the numerous mountain ranges that are all over the planet. The Earth gets its weird shape due to the speed it orbits at, and if you look at more size-accurate pictures, it'll resemble a squashed ball more than the perfect golf ball shape we're used to seeing. Number 7. Nuking an Asteroid Will Destroy It When it comes to disaster movies, there are a few that have had as much of a cultural impact as Armageddon. The premise of the film is that there's a massive asteroid heading towards the Earth and the main characters must devise a plan to stop it, which consists of literally nuking an asteroid, preventing it from destroying the Earth completely. When the filmmakers and the fans of the movie saw this concept, they didn't see anything wrong with it. But in reality, it simply cannot happen. Nuking an asteroid, if that was even scientifically possible, wouldn't just destroy the asteroid altogether. It would break it into countless pieces that would still hit the Earth, but on a much larger scale. This might actually lead to more widespread destruction rather than have the asteroid hit only one spot on the Earth. Number 6. Explosions in Space Sorry George Lucas, but this one's on you. As we've seen in Star Wars or any other movie set in space where there are giant space battles, you can't just fire a missile in the middle of outer space and expect it to explode as if it were right here on Earth. That would be impossible. Space is a vacuum. There's no air or oxygen for an explosion to happen, as an explosion itself by definition is a rapid exothermic reaction with oxygen. With no oxygen in space, there can't be an explosion, simply put. While the Star Wars films aren't exactly known for their scientific accuracy, you would have expected them to have addressed this by now. Number 5. Female astronauts wear cute underwear under their spacesuits Astronauts are some of the most intriguing figures that exist not just in this world, but also outside of it. Many of us see astronauts as some sort of superhumans, helping us understand the universe better day by day, and a lot of their reputation is well deserved. But at the end of the day, they're still humans and they have the same needs as us, and that includes pooping. No, female astronauts don't wear cute underwear under their spacesuits as we saw with Sandra Bullock on Gravity. As actual astronaut Chris Hadfield pointed out, Bullock should have actually been wearing a diaper instead. Since astronauts can't just drop their suits whenever they want or have easy access to toilets, it's almost universal for them to actually wear adult diapers during missions, especially during takeoffs and landings. 
Number 4. It is ridiculously common in movies and TV shows to have two characters be in space and have full conversations with one another. And it's one of the most misleading things that we see about space. In actuality, there's no way for you to hear anything in space. It's completely silent. Even if you were to see a meteor strike a planet right in front of your eyes, you wouldn't be able to hear a thing. As we mentioned before, space is a vacuum, and that means you also can't hear anything in space. Number 3. What happens to your body without a spacesuit? One of the most famous depictions of what would happen to a human in space without a suit is in Total Recall, where Arnold Schwarzenegger is seen turning into a human balloon as he enters space without a suit. As humorous as that scene was, it's completely inaccurate. Another misconception is that since it's so cold in space, your body would completely freeze if you entered space without a suit. That's also false. Your internal organs would actually start to burn if you entered space, as your body naturally heats itself. In the vacuum of space, there would be no way for your body to let the heat out, and eventually you would start to overheat until your blood is literally boiling inside, despite it being hundreds of degrees below zero outside. All of this would happen in a matter of seconds. Number 2. Zero Gravity One of the most iconic aspects about space when it comes to the media would have to be the theory of zero gravity. You know, when astronauts are floating around and there's absolutely no gravitational pull, it's often mischaracterized as zero gravity by even some of the most serious of films. In reality, there is no such thing as zero gravity at all. There is, however, an increase in weightlessness. In fact, the gravity at the International Space Station, which is where most of the zero-gravity stuff is sourced from, is around 90% as much as it is on the Earth itself, as it's well within the Earth's gravitational range. In fact, even the Moon itself is being pulled from the Earth's gravity, and astronauts are usually much closer to the Earth than they are to the Moon. When astronauts are in space, they're still experiencing gravity, but they're not being pulled to the Earth's center. They're essentially in a constant state of free fall, which is what makes them weightless. Number 1. Dust Storms on Mars The Martian is one of the most critically acclaimed space movies of all time. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won numerous others, and is generally regarded as a very accurate hypothetical representation of Mars colonization. However, there's one thing that many people pointed out about the movie. And that's when a huge storm engulfed the area the characters were in, killing many and destroying most of their equipment. While it's true that there are a lot of dust storms on Mars and some of them can be huge, they will likely not be destructive at all. Mars has been, for a few billion years at this point, losing most of its atmosphere, to the point where the atmosphere on Mars is so thin that it's almost not there anymore. Since the atmosphere is so thin, it would be highly unlikely for a destructive storm like this to ever happen anywhere on Mars. That's a wrap for the 10 lies you were told about space. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.